Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iPhone 11 on the iOS 18 Beta 1. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hyped. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys and I don't want you guys to miss these. Let's get right into today's video and I am going to talk about both the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 Standard in this video. So if you are watching this on your iPhone 11 Pro or for your iPhone 11 Pro, this video applies for both of these devices let's get right into this video all right so it's been a couple of days that i have been using my iphone 11 on the ios 18 beta 1 and i have came to a conclusion that iphone 11 performs wait 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 do you think i'm going to come to the conclusion of this video right away no i want your watch time all right just stay here i will talk about everything in detail so that you should know everything before installing it or considering installing ios 18 beta 1. okay so let's start up with the performance itself the performance of iphone 11 is surprisingly good compared to the iphone 10r and the iphone 10s now if i'm comparing it to those devices the performance is really really good and much better than those but 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 story does not end right there this doesn't mean that it is performing performing great by any means because iPhone XR and iPhone XS is performing really bad and are just struggling on the iOS 18 beta 1. They are getting overheated and the performance is just really really bad. The animations are having some lag and uh, obviously we have some resprings on those devices as well. So the iOS 18 beta 1 situation on the iPhone 11 is not as worse as on iPhone XR. The performance is adequate and uh, it is not as bad as those devices. You can still work, you can still use those devices. It won't get overheated. But yeah, it is not good by any means, but definitely much better than the iPhone XR if you compare to those. Does that mean do I recommend you guys to install this version on your devices? Definitely a big no. You should never install a beta version on your primary device, especially. Then talking about the battery life. Yeah, battery life is also one of the biggest part that you guys look forward to before installing an update. And battery life is, of course, it is a beta. So you should have your expectations low already. For a beta, it is performing normal it is having around five to five and a half hours of screen on time which is normal for a beta version it is not good but it is normal because it is a beta version so yeah i would give it a solid seven out of ten now that is not a bad number by any means so in terms of battery the iphone 11 is performing really poor but uh, up to my expectations it is not below my expectations i expected this only i'm again repeating this if you have iphone 11 as your primary device just stay away from ios 18 and to be very honest ios 18 does does not really have anything very exciting that you should be excited about to install and uh, things like control center that is pretty cool and new it is customizable and all but just have some patience even if you will install it on your device you will play around with the control center you will use the new features you will be able to just customize your home screen and look really dope the icons look really amazing in dark mode but Trust me, after some time, you will get bored. And when it comes to practicality, the iOS 18 beta one sucks on iPhone 11 as well. In conclusion, let's talk about is it worth installing iOS 18 beta one on iPhone 11? And the question of the day is that should you install iOS 18 beta one on your iPhone 11? The answer is no. I would definitely not recommend you guys to install iOS 18 on your iPhone 11 Pro or iPhone 11 because it is just not performing great and to be very honest you should not have expectations because it is a beta one and these updates do not tend to perform good and have a lot of bugs in the first half especially i think around the time of july when we will have the public betas rolling out that is probably the best time to try out ios 18 if you do want to try the ios 18 version on your device you should probably wait for the public beta and install that on your devices and the great news until the public beta rolls out we will continue to have developer betas and it will get better and iphone 11 will get better on ios 18 
and we will have more new features so it is a great deal to install and wait for public beta well thank you so much for watching this video till the end this is me jay aka tech hype and i am signing off for today make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here i will catch you guys in the very next episode peace out and have a great day everyone